Okay, so today I'll be performing a simulation of an enema on a dog. This is Champ. Um, so, and I have Dr. Kate applying restraint for me. She's just making sure he stays standing because once I start doing things back here, he's not going to be super happy. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put my gloves on and then talk about some of the other materials I have over here. So I have um, paper towels and waterless shampoo to use uh, once I'm finished with the simulation of the enema process, just that I would use to clean up the area back there. I have, uh, stair I have some lube here that I'll use on a paper towel. And then I have my enema solution. So this is a pre-made enema solution, and I will give this whole tube to him. And it's um, dioctyl sodium sulfosubstanate. It's very hard to say, <laughs> but it's a, a 12 milliliter solution, and it has 250 milligrams of the dioctyl sodium sulfosubstanate in it. So um, that's my solution I'll use. So I'm going to go ahead and get started as if I was actually going to do this. So. Uh, first, what I would do is I'm going to squeeze out some of the lube just on the paper towel down here. And then if I were to actually give this to him, um, I would start by taking the cap off. I would dip this into the lube, um, and then once I had it lubed, I would lift his tail. He's not going to like this. I would put it in, and it's going to be about two to three inches into his rectum. And once I have it in there, I would go ahead and depress the plunger to give the solution. As soon as I'm finished giving it, take out my plunger, put it down, and then we would direct him right into the cage because this is going to act quickly. Come on, Jimmy. Come on. Good boy. Good boy. And then take the leash off, shut the cage, and I would give him, you know, as much time as he needs to evacuate. <laughs> Um, and just I'm gonna, just going to wait a couple minutes just for simulation purposes and just clean up over here, put some of my stuff away. And then say that he had evacuated. I, and just so you know, too, I have a, one of those um, pee pads in the cage, too, to collect anything that he would have evacuated. I'll let him come back out with the lead, take him out of the cage. I have Dr. Kate apply restraint for me again. It doesn't matter if he's facing, it's fine. Yeah, I know you want to sit down, buddy. And then I would just use this. I'm actually going to use it because it's not going to hurt him. This is just waterless shampoo. Put it on a paper towel and just clean up the area. Just like that. Just make sure that any debris he would have gotten on him from that. Okay, so that is the end of the simulation of an enema on a dog.